This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hicks versus Hicks. Mrs. Hicks, you're here with your husband. You've been recently separated and you've just allowed your husband back in the home in the last month. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. What is your goal with this hearing today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here to find out the truth, hopefully, and to see if my husband is still dealing with a woman named Coretta that he was dealing with previously and also if he is living with another woman. Mr. Hicks, what do you have to say about that? No. <laughs> no, right. that's... No? Okay. I haven't seen Coretta in... since I kicked her out uh, two years ago. Have you been in touch with her via text or other, other social media or other technology? Yes, I had through Facebook. But, but, but it wasn't on that level. Like, you know, it was... It's just been, like, small talk. All right, Miss Hicks, do you believe that? I don't really know what to believe. He, oh. he lies a lot. If I can't get the truth or if, you know, if it's still infidelity going on, then, I mean, I'm gonna have to let my marriage go. This is what she do. Are you considering divorce? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yes. I went online and uh, bought what they... I guess it's like a divorce book. Did you know that? No. I do have proof of of the receipt and everything for it. Ron, would you please get that? <laughs> yes, Sean. So you had no idea that she had done research and was she ready to buy. She always said, she had said, like, you know, I didn't know she was trying to take it, you know, down that route. I didn't know that. She has bought a divorce book, A Guide to Doing an Uncontested Divorce. Mr. Hicks, this is serious. Yeah, I was trying to get her to understand my standpoint so we ain't have to come to this point, you know? Mrs. Hicks, people don't get married unhappy, so there had to have been some happy times. When we first got together, it was, you know, he made me laugh, he was funny and talented and, you know, great conversation. All those things that kind of make you want to, you know, take those steps to be with someone and... How did you all meet? We were neighbors. He lived, like, a house away from me. Um, I happened to actually be walking past his house, and he kind of almost broke his neck to get outside to talk to me. <laughs> you know, and he was like, hey, you know, can I get your number? And I'm like, well, I live right there. I'll be back. Okay. And I, I actually didn't come back that same day. Um, you played him off? I did. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I no, did. no, no. I played off. Not played off. She was playing hard to get. No, she played him I mean, off. Not, I mean, when I first... I'm like, okay, yeah, he's not really my type. So I kind of kept it, kept it moving. Ms. Hicks, I got to know. How did you finally get the number? When I found out she stayed, like, two houses down, I was really like, you know, you mind. You know, I go... I walk past. I keep walking to the store. I might see her. You know, hey, you know, hey, Kiana, how you doing? You know, you still ain't text me yet, she said. <laughs> he eventually did it, and, you know... The rest is history. You turned on the charm. Oh, Go. basically. He's, he was a charmer. Well, Kelly, you know, I yeah. try to play a little hard to get. You know what that looked like. <laughs> yeah, we dated seven years before we got married, so I don't know how... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much harder you could have played, but... <laughs> yeah. So, what went wrong? Yeah. I guess when I caught him cheating, I should say... Just one day, he's like, oh, I'm, you know, going with a family member. I'll be back. Okay, so... But he left his uh, Facebook open on a computer and saw that he was uh, messaging another female and he's, like, you know, trying to meet up with her. We actually had an app on our phones where you could track the other phone and it showed me the area he was in. But by the time I got there, he was already going to his car. Yeah. And he saw me and kind of... So he kind of, like, hurried up and took off and I, and I followed him and it was, like, a big mess. Did you never saw another woman? Regardless if it was another woman, let's just start there. You told her you were at a family member's house, but you weren't. Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, that was a lie right oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Now, it really was another woman, wasn't it? Yes, Your Honor. Basically. All right, so how did this... How did this wind up when you got home? I mean, it wasn't really a conversation. I just put them out. Like, and that was kind of, you know... Oh, well, that's really... When our separation... Well, <laughs> That's a pretty short conversation. Yeah, I mean... Is this the only thing he's done in the past? No. Okay, tell me about what else he's done. Uh, Like I said, with the woman with Coretta, um, what happened was he went out. He's like, oh, I'm going out with a family member. I'll be back. And he was gone for four days. Four days? Four Four days. He was gone for four... So when he came back, you know, I'm like, you know, you can get your stuff. And I changed my locks. No phone call, no text message, no nothing. I did call you. No, he told me okay, that he was, was with a family member. I was one of my friends. It was one of my best friends. He told me he was with a family member and that the first night he said, oh, well, you know, I was intoxicated, I drank too much, and then I couldn't drive That's home. true, too. That's what happened. What happened the other two days? <laughs> like, yeah, what happened the no other two days? That's a whole other occasion you talk about. I left overnight. I didn't want to drive back, so... 
I didn't was come too back drunk. The I slept in the car. I told you I slept in the car. All okay. right. Okay. And then you keep mentioning a Coretta. What did you find out about Coretta? Around uh, New Year's Eve, I happened to call him because someone was breaking into my house, which he chose not to believe. And as I'm talking to him, I hear a female in the background, and I actually spoke to her, and she's like, oh, well, this is my man, and oh. we've been together for such a session. I'm like, okay. Well, you spoke to her? Yeah. Her. You gave her, her the phone? He I don't know how they just, talk. We talked on your phone. How? You were right there. I didn't have no other woman, no fun, if she was telling me that. That was, I, I Okay, I'm stuck on the part about your wife calling you, and then you giving the phone to your girlfriend so your girlfriend can talk to your wife. Did that happen? Yeah, that did happen. But... <laughs> okay. You know, I'm not sure being a player is your thing. Did Coretta know you were married? Yes, she did. And I talked to her myself. She told me that he told her that he had filed divorce papers, me and him were no longer together. Uh, just all, and then... Uh, she lied to you, because I, I, no, I never told her that. I told what? her I was still married. Then we, we weren't it's, even it's, talking about a divorce they, they, It's kind of hard for the pot to call the cadre black on this one. I mean, you telling <laughs> lies, saying, how can you like, take she you She said lying? that he's, they were trying to plan a baby together and all of this just... All you see who she crazy. said that to? She said it to my wife. I mean, she, come on. She's trying to mm. get you mad. When did your relationship with this Coretta end? I don't know what exact day. It was before Valentine's Day. Oh, oh. Now, that's a real so, player move to break to, up right before Valentine's Day. All right. So, you have not been with Coretta since February 2015. Correct. I did, I did text her. We did text, but that was just recently, like a couple weeks ago. But your concern is he's still sleeping with her. Is that correct? Yes, and there's also another woman that I think he's still dealing with. Oh. Okay, okay, wait a minute. There's a, a number two? Me and him separated, um, again... Um, and he told me that he was going to get his own apartment, and I found out he was living with another woman. How did you find that out? Our son told me. He's like, you know, you know, it, there was... He was like, there's a girl. But I had found out, like, before he moved out, I knew he was communicating with this woman because she was on Facebook making all type of status. Facebook tells everything. So I kind of put two and two together, and I kind of questioned my son a little bit. I'm like, well, is this the one? And I showed her throw him the picture of her, and he's like, yeah, that's her, instantly, right off the bat. You told me you were moving alone, but... Mr. Hicks, were you living with someone else? Yes, I was. Oh. But we were separated. And when did then you... Then I actually ran into them at a store together, him and the other woman. They're, they're house shopping. <laughs> like, Ooh. crock pots and all type, you know, blenders, all just, you know, things for the house, and I'm like... So okay. did you have your own place, or was she moved in with you? We moved in together. She knew about Kiana. She knew what situation I was in, and I was trying to move on from it, and, you know, we, we bonded on another level, and that's how that happened. Well, you know, that's a problem, because you shouldn't be bonding with anybody but your wife. So why did you have him come home a month ago? Why did you allow him to back in your house? He called me. Oh, I want to come home. I'm done with the back and forth. So I thought we had a mutual understanding. I never called her and said that. We what did you say? Well, how we did had, you get back there, then? We had a discussion. All and right. We Tell had, me you know, about that. We had a that. conversation, and it was, you know, I was basically asking her, you know, what she wanted to do. You know, I told her what I wanted to do. Which, which was? was I, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I told her I wanted to be with her. Did you want to get back with him? Once I found out he was living with the other woman, I said, you know, if you're going to come back, you can't do the back and forth. You have to completely be done. And he's like, oh, I'm done. And he wanted to, you know, video chat me and prove to me that he's packing up all his stuff. But he gets home and he's still doing the same stuff. He came back one night with a different pair of underwear on. And I'm like... So... Okay, wait a minute. You've let him back in the house a month ago. Yeah. And well, let the... him back. He said he wanted to come back home. No, 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 no. You don't get to... That she allowed him back home. It's his house, too. No, it ain't. No, <laughs> when you do what he did, he, it ain't his house. It's her house. I think it's more comfortable to say they agreed that he would come back home. All right. I'm a, for the sake of this, moving this along, I'm gonna say with, that you all agreed for him to come home. <laughs> all right. Do you have an apartment with anyone else? Right now? Yeah. No. That, that was a long, long time. Color, do you okay. have another house or not? No. Okay. You see how he did that? Yeah. That's what that should look like. Yeah. Like, it's just too many instances. Okay. And... Miss Hicks, you want to know if he's still involved with this woman, Coretta, and you also want to find out if he's involved with someone else. Yes, Your Honor. This court has tracked down Coretta. 
Well, she ain't. <laughs> she ain't and she's, and she's here. here. Ron, would you please show her in? Yes, Your Honor. How are Hi, you? how are you? I'm good. Do you know Mr. Hicks? Ms. I sure Marion? do. All right. Tell us about that. How do you know him? I met him about a year or two ago on a website. Never was married. No ring ever in sight. But he came to see me where I was at with, with their child. You yeah. took your, you that took is your child? true, no. Yes, we went, <laughs> we went to the mall, having a good old time, meet him and his no, friend. No, we didn't. So That's did you go visit her and take your child to see her? Tell the truth. He's lying. Oh, I did not. He's lying. Wow. How long were you together? I stopped messing with him after I got pregnant. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> we messed around from January to... Uh, He's lying. From December to end of, at the end of December to right before Valentine's Day. After that, I'd never seen her again. M He's lying. Miss Hicks, what are you thinking right now? That's not the story. I, I got pregnant with my daughter in April. I... So, like... Uh, and I got I pregnant just... in February. Me and her did communicate. She did tell me that she was pregnant. I didn't get her pregnant. But he kept saying right off the bat that that's not his Excuse child. Excuse me. When I got pregnant, he was happy. He came to my mother's house, rolling on my belly, you know, saying that he wanted a little girl. And guess what? That's what I had. And he never told you he was married? After it came out. Because like I said, he had put a picture on him on Facebook. I commented on it. I did say, babe, or, you know, I love you because, you know, we was at that level, whatever. And she commented on it like, you know, excuse me, I'm his wife and make a whole little paragraph. Then his friends... I told her I was married. Then his friends and told then my to mom the was the one who commented on Facebook. Okay. And... His friends told him to go ahead and be real. Tell you, man, like, man, okay, I am, but I'm about to get divorced. So, like I said, there was no ring ever in sight. And when we believe him, he picked me up. We drove to their house <clears> to go get her and her child. I'm in the front seat. She gets him back with her child. You actually picked up your girlfriend with your wife? Did that happen? <laughs> yes, it did. I pulled it up. Did. What? But she it didn't want to get out the front seat. I kept telling her, like, she don't want to... tell me to get out. She, she said the She was like, no, if she... If she she she, she got to fight me to it, get this front seat. That's it she doesn't matter. Like, you know it doesn't matter. Okay, you lie. have missed the point. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, let me say that again. No there. woman wants to be in the car front, back, the roof with her husband and his, and his girlfriend. Miss Marion, uh, Mr. Hicks has testified that the last time he was with you was two years ago. That's true. But he has texted me recently. He sent, he sent me a, a little emoji with a little purple thing, meaning I miss his penis. And I said, I like cats now. Wait, I'm sorry. There's a... <laughs> There's a purple emoji Carla, that says... Carla, let me she translate. Lied. Please. That's where she lied. He sent her eggplant emoji. Okay. Okay, all right. That's a sign for a man. Yeah. And she... Saying, meaning he wanted to get with her. Right. She sent back a picture of a cat. Saying Because she's no longer doing guys. <laughs> she's doing girls. Is that fair? Thank you. All okay. right. <laughs> this was last... You yeah. something else. I sent her no emoji. This was last week. So he so sent your egg... her in, in five months. Did I you? never sent no eggplant. Emoji. Man, left that part uh, out. Well, okay, so that's the part you're denying? <laughs> well, no, he yeah, did I, say. I, I he said, did I, I say. I said, I said, I text, you, see how she was, you know, see how she was doing or whatnot. He didn't even say, how you doing? That's not how he, like, he came at me. Do you know anything about him dating other women? Yes. How do you know that? Um, I asked him, who did he live with? I said, do you live with your girl? He said, no. I um, did at least with another chick. I got all my screenshots. I showed with... Let me see what you have there. I showed with screenshot and everything. This is a text message, and it says, you got your own, or you live with your girl. Okay, and he says, I signed a lease with this girl. Was he talking about Kiana? No, a whole other chick. And hey, Mr. Hicks, you signed a lease with this girl? As of right now, I don't live with another girl. I, my, stuff is, my stuff is at home. But you got a lease with somebody else? Oh. I was lying to her. Okay, here again. Is, here is the emoji, okay. sir. I found the I found the text message right here. All them texts is from Terrence, and that little green, well, purple emoji is the little eggplant. Yeah, that's an eggplant all day. So he ain't, <laughs> and now and the date is last week. I was at work. I don't. I'm not lying. Did you so, send her an eggplant? See, see, look. Earth, Earth, look, I Earth talk, Mr. I, Hicks. Okay, look, can I talk? Can I? Yeah, I want you yeah. to talk. I can't yeah, wait to hear this. Yeah, we want to hear this. I'm going to sit back for this I was, one. I was drinking. I was, you know, I was drinking. Right. 
Last week, you know, we were at home with you. I was drinking. You and Beyonce. I told Kiana about the situation. I said, you know what? I said, Coretta text me. She almost got me. You're still cheating. That's cheating. It's That's cheating in your mind. Cause, because if she would have left you, you would have slept with her. Definitely would No, have. I wouldn't have. You know that. Definitely if she would have left you, you would have did. Come on, now. I, okay, I, I, I think... Yeah. The reason why I, I even... I, I think we've okay. actually yeah. heard enough. Yeah. Mrs. Six, let me just say this. You are a lovely young lady. And if you were my daughter... I would tell you, you need a good man, a man who's gonna value you and love you and treat you like the queen that you are. You all have been together for five years and have one child together, is that correct? Correct. Yes. Ms. Gomez, allegations of cheating are destroying your relationship. Why are you here today? I am here today to find out whether my boyfriend is cheating on me or not. I have a feeling he is cheating on me with older women. And I just kind of really want to get to the bottom of it. I'm tired of feeling like I'm cheated on. I'm tired of feeling like I'm not worth enough for him. Okay, I'm gonna have to. And stop I just want to make it work for I'm my have to family. I'm gonna there because she that's already just be. told five lies in one sentence. Wow. I take it. I'm a full-time dad, full-time college student, and I don't have time to be cheating. So what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that I'm innocent and I'm not a cheater at all, and I'm not a liar. All right. <laughs> well, we're off to the races right here. <laughs> What's at stake right now? What's on the line? Our I just feel like if, he, if I find out that he is cheating, whether he's cheating on older women or other women in specific, then I just will be done with him because I feel like if he's cheating on me previously, now he's going to always cheat on me and I'm not going to deal with it. All right. Somebody who accused somebody of cheating, you must be doing it yourself. Oh. Do you hear this? I know. I haven't seen somebody accused that annoyed in a while. He is like... <laughs> like, we've been together five years. Are you kidding me? So you're like, why would I put this kind of... Yeah, I could have done it. I, I gave up being a HOE. You know what I mean? I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so you were out all. there. Yeah, I gave it up for her. All that for her. Did, did, wait, wait, wait. What, what is now, she here's doing? here's the thing, and I appreciate this. He already has said, I was out there in the world doing my thing. Doing it. He said he was a HOE. She even smelled my private area. Ooh. Ain't nobody smelling Because I'm thinking I'm cheating. Not a she... sniffer. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, no, that I want to hear, but, but tell me about it. I get in the bed, come home, and then she, you know, she just goes down and smells. I'm like, what is you sniffing? That has nothing to do on why I'm accusing you. But you, you think cheating. that I was cheating. That's okay, the point. Okay, that has nothing All to right, do. All right, let, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me just be clear. Ms. Goldman, I know. You, I, asked, you got I, the answer that you asked for. I, well, <laughs> Ms. Gomez, I'm looking at you. Yeah. Woman to woman. Are you a sniffer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> So you work not. down there sniffing? No. Mm -mm. I think... I don't... I don't... Color, okay, you a man, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you... of where this is going, but go ahead. I'm just color. I'm just trying to be clear. Would you yeah. know if I was sniffing or other? All right, let me take this from a scientific standpoint. <laughs> you know, if on occasions one, two, three, four, and five, she did things this way, and on occasion six... Uh -huh. She a little sniff. Then yeah. he probably knows Which the I difference. Do not She's not only talking about everything. Like I'm like, yeah. what's the point? No, okay, like, so what he not even into it anymore. That's right. Ain't nobody doing that. And crazy. you okay? And you're saying you didn't? No, I don't do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. There's just times okay. I just don't even feel like doing it, so I stop. No, I don't feel like doing it because you turned me off. Well, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's, let's, Hold let's... up. I just heard something very clear. You're saying he does not have sex with you. He does not. She he turned... hasn't had sex with me since it's... we had our child, which was three yeah, months ago. Yeah, because my son is my no main focus. Who has me? time for that? Like I say, I okay, work. Okay, hold well, on. Clean. You know, wait, I wait a minute. No. I don't oh, know, Mr. Stevens. Again, you kind of had time before, because that's before, how you got the baby. Of course, of course. And I presume because that I feel if, like he's if, if he's not he's getting not it from you, he's... it from me, who is he getting it from? All right, Mr. Stevens, where are you attending to that? Because her attitude turns me off. I don't have, like, when she yells at me, cusses at me, I, I can't get... I can't express and be, like, intimate with her if you yelling and cussing at me. And you and expect me to sleep in the same bed as you? you. Oh, okay, so the here's the thing. thing. You do the exact uh, same but thing. But you didn't answer my... You told me all the reasons why you aren't having sex with and her. There's plenty. With her. With her. With her. But I'm asking you, are you having sex with somebody else? No. Absolutely One time I was not. going through his pants, he got off work, he left his pants on the floor, so I was putting his stuff away. I found a condom on his back pocket. It wasn't in my and back pocket. I knew it wasn't pocket. for me because it actually, it wasn't in my back pocket. Condom. It was in my dresser where it you pull it all that. It was not in your dresser. Hold, hold on, Mr. Stevens, hold on. How did it get there? I, I, 
I don't know. She said it magically appeared right there. Why did you have a copy? Do use in condoms. your drawer, in your pocket, on we, your head, wherever you, you have. <laughs> no. We used to use condoms. Yes, we did. We okay, are you really saying that condoms. that's from back in the day? Back in the day. And, you know and you're not is. using them currently with another woman? Absolutely well, not. Well, if you were using condoms back in the day, mm -hmm. why on this current day, when she went through your jeans, you had a condom in your pocket? I don't know why it was in my pocket. Come on. Really? Okay, well, if it's in my pocket, sure. If it's in my pocket, then I don't want to have another kid. I was pregnant when I found this. So y'all were past that point. So... Ms. Gomez, what else have you okay. found? So if another anything? reason why I feel like he is cheating on me, because one night I was going through his phone, his phone was blowing up all these notifications, so I'm looking through it. I find all these dating apps, and one specific <laughs> app, it's he made time. a fake profile, and then I look through his phone, I look through his pictures, and I find all these naked pictures, sex videos, and one naked picture specifically of one woman. All right, Mr. Stevens. Were you creating dating profiles? Yeah, on, on purpose. I, dated, I downloaded a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them. Left it my phone unlocked, because I knew that she was gonna, she already been accusing me, so I gave her exactly what she wanted. Okay, Cutler, when are people gonna learn that two wrongs don't make a right? And I know, but mom tells me that all the time. You right, you right. So you saw naked pictures Just of like when? Yes, I have proof them and right deleted here. them so you can see them. Okay, Ron, would you uh, grab that for us, please? Yes, Sean. Thank you, man. Yeah. So this is a photo that you saw in his phone. Yes. Yep. That a woman sent him through the dating app. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we have a woman bent over. I think her side job must be a contortionist. <laughs> and she is taking a picture. This is pretty doggone amazing. <laughs> She's taking a picture of her behind I it was from the front. They didn't teach these classes in law school, so this... <laughs> <laughs> this was on your phone. You don't deny this. This was on your phone. Yeah, I downloaded every single thing that I could think of. All right, so wait, 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 wait. If you are being accused of cheating, mm -hmm. and now you've given her... Everything she wanted. Some amazing evidence. That wasn't gonna stop her. In fact, you played right I, into I, her fear. Yeah, you right. But it's just like, after five years, you should already know where the trust is. So it's like, I gave you what you wanted, and I knew how she was gonna get, so that's what I did. Well, let me piece this together, because you said that you're concerned about him with an older woman, yes. and then the photos that you found, a lot of them were of a particular woman. Mm -hmm. So do and you have some because, fear that he's... Know, he always has female friends. That's all he surrounds himself with. And he gets way too friendly. And with this particular... Because um, nobody Val, is... Hold, hold on. Hold the on. older woman. Her name is Val. The reason why I feel like they're doing stuff because they're... They FaceTime every Wait, single day. Val. And when they answer the phone, they say, hey, babe, or hey, boo, hey, boo, Hey, boo, thing. thing. And to me, that's disrespectful. Like, no woman... No other woman should say that to my man. I always... Yeah, I always call her. She called me for advice. There's nothing to nothing like that at all. You never like, had sex with her. Never had sex with her. No never kind touched of sexual her, never contact. kissed her. No, nothing like that ever. But yeah. you know what, Mr. Cutler? As I was reviewing the file, I noticed a text message between Mr. Stevens and our court clerk. It says Mr. Stevens says, Hey Shay, please tell me I have my own room. Court clerk, yes you do. Do you want to be in the same hotel or different hotel? Mr. Stevens, just as long as me and Val in the same hotel. Yep. Yep. So you wanted to be in the same hotel Hotel as, as her because she can calm me down. So were you with Val last night? No. All right, so there's Ms. Gomez's side, there's Mr. Stevens' side, and there's the older woman's side, and she is here today. Oh. Ryan, would you please escort her in? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Good day, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Have a seat, please. An older woman? I don't know about that. You look pretty <laughs> youthful to me. <laughs> Would you state your name, please, for our record? My name is Val. Real name is Valicia Timmons. How did you and Mr. Stevens meet? Me and Mr. Stevens met 2014. We used to sell shoes together. Okay. And uh, upon selling shoes, I think what made us, our friendship, like, really, really strong is that we did really good on marketing. Yeah. Um, for us to have a team of, like, 10 people, we were the ones that were really pumping out the shoes. We, we made the sales. What yeah. is the nature of your relationship? 
We are like, we like... Two peas in a pot. Two peas in a pot. <laughs> we like Mutt and Jeff. We like Ben and Jerry. <laughs> ben and Jerry, all right, I like that one. <laughs> We're just really close with each other. Um, he talks to me about his problems uh, with Rosa all the time. And I feel like that's where Reese messes up because when me and him have problems, he should never tell another female about our problems yes. because that stays in between <laughs> us. Okay, and you shouldn't do the same. So you, sh you can't same. shout out a fence because you do the same. Me going to my family and no, friends not your are family. two different You went things. to your brother. She, Let me just not be your clear. Family, though. So in the record, record, I just want to know all right. I'm blocked on everything. Ms. Gomez, yeah. thank you. Okay, I have to ask you this. Yes, ma'am. Is there a sexual relationship between you and Mr. Stevens? No. Uh-uh. I'm a cougar. That's the point. That's what cougars would, would go after. No. My cougarness and yeah. his... Yeah. his yeah. Like, <laughs> I, don't please. I can't roll on that one. So it's always just been a very close friendship. Always. Do you all talk every day? When we sold shoes, we talked every day. You could, I could get a phone call from Risa like five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we go, we go to, to the work, shop literally. and open it up. Yeah. He should not be calling her at no five o'clock in the morning. We I can do that. Money, we we, we making money, honey. We Something making that you money. Need to get and on. ain't nothing gonna stop my money. Oh, good God, making no. Money and talking so to if I need other? to call him at five o'clock to open up them doors so we can sell them shoes, that's what I'm gonna do. Exactly. Have you all been working together while they were in a relationship? Yes. yes. And she even asked oh. advice from her. Didn't you give her And advice? I gave it to a 100. You have talked to me about him and y'all relationship, and I've given you the utmost respect. I've let you know exactly what you need to do in order to get that little attitude of his in check. If you don't pay attention to what I know, and I'm trying to help you, but you don't take heed to what I'm telling you, girl, bye. And why would I All listen right. to a female so, friend of his? Like, that's nothing. Okay, so... You I should be listening question. to no. me. Really, you should. I this shouldn't. boy tell me everything. And that's what he's wrong from. from. That he is me wrong. Everything. That's not the problem. That's that not the problem. That is the problem. Ms. Timmons, if you were in a relationship with a man, how comfortable would you be with him going to his female friend about every aspect of your relationship? Your Honor, I'm a free spirit. I mean, I come and go as I please. I can't put myself in a relationship because I've not been in one in over five years. So I'm not gonna go. I can't answer that question. I really can't, because I'm gonna do me. Thank you, Ms. Timmons. Thank you. I think we get this. Ms. Gomez, you claim there's no sex in the relationship. You found a condom in his pocket. Mm -hmm. And you believe he's having some relationship with an older woman. And other women. And all of this is causing you concern. Yes. You think he's cheating. Yes. And you've also said that if any of this pans out, that in fact, Mr. Stevens is cheating, this relationship it will is be done. Over. So everything is at stake yep. based on what we find out today. Correct. I'm still going to see my son. And Mr. Stevens, you understand that? Yep. And I'm okay. still going to take care of my son, take care of my responsibility, and also, also see my son. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine is he cheating? At this time, the court will call certified and licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt. Ron, please escort Mr. Platt into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Platt. Thank you, Mr. Platt, for being here. How are you doing? Good, Your Honors. How are y'all? We're good. good. You conducted a polygraph on Mr. Stevens, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, can we get your credentials for the court record? I am a certified licensed polygraph examiner of 10 years. I have 30 years experience in the United States military and law enforcement. All right. So you asked Mr. Stevens a question. <laughs> oh. Rod, would you see if she can come back and tell us she'll be okay? Yes, Sean. Ms. Gomez? Yeah. Be okay. Let's go back to the courtroom. Stand in front of you. You'll be okay. You ready? No. You know what that means, Mr. Stevens? You have to take real good care of her. I, I feel where she's going, coming from. You've had a lot of pressure on you, haven't you? Yeah, I did. It's okay. It's all right. Mr. Stevens was asked, since November 2015, when you and Ms. Timmons met, have you ever had sexual contact with each other? What was his response to that question? 
He responded, no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that he was being truthful. See, I told you. I told you. I told you. Nothing like that. I told you. Don't want your man, honey. Keep him. We have one more question. Since January of 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman other than Miss Gomez. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And how did he answer? He stated no. What did the polygraph reveal? The polygraph determined that he was being truthful. All right, I saw a, a hint of a smile. Is that... Did I see that correctly, Miss Gomez? Yeah, Go and give her some love. You all have been together for five years. You're engaged to be married. You have two children together. But there's going to be no marriage unless we figure out what's going on here. Mm. Ms. Simona, you've brought this case. Tell us why you're here. I'm here, Your Honor, because I am upset. Um, everybody here in our hometown has a story about Cody, and it's getting to the point where I'm embarrassed, I'm humiliated, and I feel like an idiot. Mm. What kind of stories do they have about Cody? Um, cheating accusations. Oh. And see, what you're not understanding is so many of these people had a past with me that they just possibly jealous. I mean, I'm here to let you know, like, this is what I want. I want our family. So, Mr. Gunn, these people just don't want to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, Your Honor. Ms. Simone, tell me what it was like in the beginning, because it couldn't have been all this humiliation and turmoil from the very start. We met just at a concession stand in the mall uh, through a mutual friend. From that on, we just walked together until we got to know each other. Three days later, we made it official we were together. Three days? Three days. So, <laughs> Mr. Gunn, what kind of shots did you fire oh. for her to be the woman for you? You, you didn't go there. I did. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, you gotta know, with a name like Gunn, there's gonna be a lot of pun I here. I understand. <laughs> See how I did really? that? Yeah, well, you did it. I can do it. <laughs> All right, so you figured it out. After two or three days, this was the person for you. You like what you saw, and you like what you saw. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. What went wrong? Um, he started to be on his phone consistently. Uh, every time I would sit down, go next to him, uh, he'd swipe out whatever he was on. Mm. So was that different from when you first met him? Yes. Uh, before, he was very open about having his phone with me, sharing passwords and sharing secrets, and now it's just like he's keeping them. Mr. Cutler, if we have one case, we've got 50 cases where the change begins with the doggone phone, the phone is open, mm. and then the phone becomes, you know... Right, Your Honor. He keeps it down flat. Mm -hmm. When you come in the room, he's like, I, I, it wasn't me. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so, Ms. Simone, what do you do once you find out he's being secretive with the phone? Uh, we broke up for three months uh, from August, from the end of August, from November 6th. And you get back together when? November 6th. So, from the end of August mm -hmm. to November 6th, you all were broken up. Correct. And then November 6th, you get back together. Yes. All right. But then some cheating alarms start going off again. Yes, Your Honor. All right, tell me about these cheating alarms. What was the first alarm? I had gotten an app on Facebook. Um, it's an anonymous messaging app, so you can share your link through your page and people can message you anonymously. I got a message that said, Cody is cheating on me and I am stupid. <laughs> and then I got another one. Uh, oh. included four women specifically by name. Mm. Okay, Mr. Gunn, please well, explain why somebody would just anonymously write your fiance to say you're cheating and she's stupid because you're cheating. See, I'm not 100% sure why anybody would make those accusations and tell her things like that. But um, during our breakup, there was one of them that was in, her, in the uh, anonymous message that I did sleep with while we had that separation. But what about the other three? I'm not even sure who the other three are. I haven't seen these messages myself. That must have been a wild three months. He doesn't even remember who they were. <laughs> I mean, he remembers one, but it must have been all wild and crazy 
Well, it no. just leads me to want to know, Miss Simone, what'd you do when you got these four names? Because that's what I would... I'd be <laughs> like, okay, next. Yeah, uh, after I got the four names, I started digging. I went through my friends, I went through his friends on Facebook, and it's actually a woman Cody referred our children to be babysit by. <laughs> you believe your fiancé is sleeping with the babysitter? Yes, Your Honor. <gasps> Did you talk to her? I did. I talked to her directly. Oh, well, I'd love to hear about that conversation. <laughs> Tell me about that. I messaged her and I openly asked if she was messing around with him and she had responded yes, that they were messing around when we had problems. And, Your Honor, that was the time that we were on the break. That is the woman I referred to as during that breakup is when I had slept with somebody else. Okay, but she sent me a picture. Uh, okay, okay, so... <laughs> hold on, love. Let's look at the... I want to see these text messages. So you wrote, were you and Cody blanking around when we were together? When you guys had problems, we blanked around. He would Snapchat me to come over and blank him when you were asleep. Then it goes on, we had a three-way. And you said, was the three after or before Arabella? And the old babysitter responds, it was November 26th. All right, did you have a three-way? It was during that time period of us oh. being broken up, yes. Miss Lamoni, do you believe this is when that happened, when you all were in, on your break? No, I do not, Your Honor. Why not? Because she, the next day, she had sent me a picture with the date included on it. And you've submitted that to the court as well? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And this is a picture of Mr. Gunn. Yes, Your Honor. On oh, November 26th at 11.22 p.m., mm. hugged up with the babysitter. Yes, Your Honor. That night with the picture was a night that was not even about the threesome. Mm. It was... There was a party that night. I went to it, hung out with a bunch of friends. Don't remember a lot of the night, but I do know that I did not sleep with her that night. If you don't remember a lot of it, how do you know that? Because <laughs> there was a sobering up period that... Uh, uh, it was uh. around that time. You know how mad I would be, Mr. Cutler, if you recommended a babysitter that you ended up sleeping with? Because I would think you just making it casual and easy for, to have access to her. I mean, this is like... I don't know why your hair ain't on fire. <laughs> so, are you it saying is. it's worse to sleep with a babysitter than anybody else? No, I'm just thinking, first she tucks the kids in the bed, then she tucks him in the bed. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I hope but I suspect that it's not true. Ms. Simone, have you found any other evidence of Mr. Gunn cheating? Sadly, Your Honor. All right, tell me about it. Um, we had an old neighbor who he would ask for cigarettes for when he was out, and she had messaged me when I was at home with the children asking me to uh, ask my fiancé to stop asking to trade nudes with her. <laughs> Mr. Gunn, were you asking for nudies? No, I was not. Did Were you, you exchanging nudies with somebody else? No, I did not. So you just <laughs> happened to look up and in your inbox are a bunch of new photographs of women that oh, you no, have. I didn't to even know. have anything in my inbox. How um, did she what go had from ha cigarettes to nudes, though? All right, you're on. I honor. mean, look, take a look at this message. Can you tell your fiance to stop Snapchatting me asking to trade nudes? I understand how it looks on there, but all I did was ask her for a cigarette. <laughs> 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 There's a, a big difference between Look. a cigarette and a picture of me being nude or her, of your neighbor being nude. That's a big jump. Yeah. And I know autocorrect does a lot of things, but autocorrect does not change <laughs> cigarettes to nudes. <laughs> it doesn't do that. Miss Simone, let me ask you this. You mentioned earlier that, you know, seems like everybody's talking about it, everybody's telling you that he's cheating. Who specifically has told you that he's cheating? Uh, his best friend from many years. His best friend. His best friend, yes. His best friend has broken the bro code, basically and told you that he's cheating? <laughs> wow. Yes, Your Honor. What has he told you? He was going to cheat on me one night on a guy's night out at a strip club with a stripper <gasps> and that he had kissed an ex-girlfriend while he went to his friend's house. Oh. Man. Mr. Gunn? And... All that is false. The, the entire thing is false. The night at the strip club, I don't remember. Maybe stuff could have happened. I don't know. I was drunk. I was intoxicated. 
Okay, you So I'm not, not completely denying that. everything at the strip club. All right, here's the thing. I got three sons, probably your age group. The bro code is real. Mm. I lived with it. One would do something, nobody... Who did it? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I thought I had a four son named Wasn't Me. <laughs> so, for a best friend to break the bro code, you must have done something pretty doggone outrageous. And see, this best friend of mine, well, supposed, had also sat there and told her that she'd be better off with him. Oh, so you think he has an ulterior motive. Definitely. And every time me and her had broken up in the past, took breaks, whatever it was, throughout her five-year relationship, he was always right there. So here's the thing. There's your side, her side, and there's the best friend's side. And so what I want to do, I'm going to give you this piece of paper and a pen. I want you to write down the best friend's number, and I'm going to call it. Because she's saying that he, she talked to him, and you're saying, well, when he did, when she did it, he was trying to get with her anyway. We gonna find out what happened and why. Because okay. I agree. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot to want to break the bro code. And, oh, yeah. and if Okay. You got the number? I got the number. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Is this Mr. Williams? Yes. We're here on the case of Cassidy Simone and Cody Gunn. You know them, correct? Yep. Ms. Simone has testified that you all had been to a strip club and that Mr. Cody was cheating or was going to cheat with a stripper. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Tell me what Mr. Gunn was going to do with this strip club. He had the stripper on his lap and leaned over to me and said, I'm going to cheat on Cassie tonight. And took her, well, she took him to the private dance room and he came back out and said, I got her number and she's going to hit me up later. Wow. Mr. Gunn. Like I said, Your Honor, I don't remember that night. So you're not denying it. I'm not denying it. I'm not saying it's true. But you remember you know, enough to tell me that you were just playing pool and weren't looking at anybody? I was also really intoxicated that night, so... You came home just fine. Oh. Uh, Okay, so, again, you're not denying that it happened. You just don't remember one way or the other. Correct. <sighs> Miss Simone testified that there was something with an ex-girlfriend of Mr. Gunn. Can you tell me and tell Mr. Cutler about that? He invited me down to, you know, come talk with him and her. And then they started getting touchy-feely. And then, so, I, I didn't pay no mind to it. I turned around and, you know, I'm not stupid. I hear kissing noises. I know what kissing noises sound like. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I think you brought a lot of clarity, so we appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Miss Simone, how did you feel when Mr. Williams came to you and said, look, I got something to tell you. Here's some things that I've seen. I was very, very upset because why would he lie to me? That was his best friend for many, many years, and... He's also the same best friend of mine that basically said you would have been better off with him. Your story to this court and to Miss Simone is you have not been physically or sexually intimate with anyone else since you and she got back together on November 6th. Correct. Despite your best friend coming forward and saying you did, you maintain that you did not, you have not, since you all got back together on November 6th. Is that your testimony today? Yes, Your Honor. And she has said, if it comes back that he is, in fact, cheating, this wedding is off forever. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gunn, do you understand that? Yes, I do. Are you confident that you're gonna walk down the aisle with her or are you just gonna walk down this aisle alone? Oh, I'm, I'm very confident that I'll be walking down the aisle with her. All right, let me just say this to you. We say it all the time. Don't let me bring my expert in here to tell your story. If you've got a story you need to tell, you need to tell it now. Do you have something you need to say? Actually, Your Honor, yes, I do. There was an incident that led up to conception of a child. And I've never let Cassidy know, and I figured this is the best opportunity to tell her. While Cassidy went to Texas to visit her dad, I did have 
a one night stand. And that one night stand produced a child? Yes, Your Honor. I see the tears. I want to weep with you. I... I think more importantly, Mr. Gunn, what do you have to say to Miss Simone? Words can't really tell her how I feel about it. And I am truly sorry. It's something that's been weighing on me for two years now. Mr. Gunn, is this the only time you've cheated? Are there more? It's, there's one more time. <laughs> all right. While you all were together? Yes. Come on. Talk, yeah. talk. How, how long ago did it happen and what happened? It was maybe two months ago. <gasps> Miss Simone, you know, I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through right now. What do you want to say to Mr. Gunn? I don't trust you anymore. And without our trust, there can't be us. Miss Simone, I, I'm going to be kind of blunt with you. You need to not be anybody's doormat. <laughs> and Mr. Gunn, if you want to be out there, be out there. But... If you want to be out there, just be out there. Just don't drag her out there with you. You all have known each other for 30 years. Uh, you've been married for 10 years and just recently got back together after a separation. Uh, Ms. Richards, why have you opened this case today? I've opened this case today because um, I think my husband is cheating and he's uh, going for younger and skinnier women. And just before uh, we came to court, I caught him uh, talking to another woman. And I'm just tired of the games and I want everything to stop. If he doesn't want to be with me and wants to keep on cheating, he can go on down the road. Okay. All right. All right. You've been together a long time. If you find out he's cheating, you're willing to just throw all that away? Yes, Your Honor, I'm going to throw it away because I'm tired of the games. There's no point of staying with someone that's going to be treating me like that. I can be by myself. All right, Mr. Richards. Your Honor, I'm here to defend myself. I love this lady. I've been with her for so many years. We have been through a lot. We got two beautiful kids. I haven't cheated on her. Yes, in the past I have. She knows about it, but I haven't been cheating now. So you are saying to your wife, I have not done anything since we've gotten back together. Yes, Your Honor. And you don't believe it? No, Your Honor, I do not believe him at all. What happened in the past? He slept with my sister. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Did I hear that right? You said he slept, <laughs> he slept with your sister? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, me and a family member went out, and uh, my sister was staying to watch my son, and he didn't want to go. So I went ahead and went on out, come back, and we caught him in bed, and it got a little crazy in there, because I, I mean, I, sh we, me and him broke up, and then me and my sister got in a fight. So... But they did it twice. Ooh. So after you caught him, he still slept with her again? No, it was in the same night when we were gone, but the truth came out that he had slept with her twice. Your in Honor, I was... Bed. Hold up, hold up. I got oh, to wait, say... Wait, wait, hold no, 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 no. Mr. Richards. In our I, bed. I got to say something right now on that. Yes, I did. And that was wrong. That was yeah. totally wrong. Yeah. That's out of character and everything. She went out with my relation. I was there with her sister. One thing to another. Boom, yeah, we was in bed. Okay, that was a mistake. I kept apologizing to her. 20 years ago, babe, why you keep bringing that up? My sister? Your sister, I know, but you keep bringing that that's up. Scandalous. It's over with. Okay, that was wrong on me. But that's 20 years ago. We got too much history to but keep bringing it up. Also if you're trying to make a relationship work, okay. why are you going to keep bringing up? You've got to let things go and work okay. it out. But some things are harder to get over. And what you're telling me is you slept with your wife's sister. In your that, wife's bed. <laughs> that's not easy to get over. And you got to understand, not only can you not get over it, it's hard not to have that impact your trust from then on. Work it out. Work with each other. Let's talk about it instead of, 
uh, keeping accusing, uh, arguing and screaming about it. But you Let's keep doing other things. I have it. And this okay, is going to prove have. it today. Point oh, blank. You have. It will prove it today. All Period. right, Miss Richards, I can't imagine how you got up and over this to continue in a relationship. But clearly you did because you're here. Right. What made you stay in the game? I love him, Your Honor. What do you love about him? I love his smile. I love... I mean, I love everything about him. Everything. We... We're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> That's how we are. So when it's good, it's really good. Yes, Your Honor. But clearly when it's bad, it is sure enough bad. Yes, Your Honor. Well, what is it about her? She's one of a kind, Your Honor. When I met her, you know, I fell in love with her. You know, and I kept trying to get her to go out with me. She finally did. And from that day, it was like I knew this was the one. We can like watch Lifetime, and tears were coming in our eyes. And I'm a man. And I still, you know, I get that touchy feeling and she laughs about it. She said, I've never seen nobody do that, you know? But that's the things we got. And I'm not, I, I'm going to do everything in my powers to keep our relationship. If she don't want to, then she's going to be hearing me knocking at her door every day, still trying to get back with her, period. Well, it sounds like that you love each other, but yet you're here today because you believe since you've gotten back together, he's cheating. Why do you believe Mr. Richards is cheating right now? Well, Your Honor, when we got together on December the 28th of 2016, he was talking to his ex-girlfriend. And he would go over to their, her house and stuff. He'd go over to her house and stuff. It's okay. Tell your story. He hid me from her and... He went over there on December the 31st three times. He came home on the, at 10 o'clock and we used to start watching a movie. At uh, like one minute till 12, she texted him Happy New Year's and he didn't say nothing to me on New, at midnight. He called her and told her Happy New Year's on our son's birthday. And he still kept us, hush me, hush, hush. He was still was going over to her house all the way up till March and was calling her and talking to her by himself. Now, if he wasn't cheating with her, why did he have to hide me from her? So, I'm his wife, Your Honor. Your Honor, me and her, you know, we talked, but we wasn't talk getting back together. But I already was talking to my ex, but nothing sexual, so, anything like that. Because she has a if boyfriend. If it wasn't sexual, she then has why a boyfriend. Hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, let, me, let me make sure I understand this. You all were separated for a while, and you started dating talking somebody else. Talking to my ex. Then me and her started talking, he but was I was already talking still for talking for to week. my ex. Hold on, Ms. Richards. I was already talking to my ex. Then me and her said, oh, let's try this again. Okay. Now, and it, I did messed up big time. I should have never done that. When this person called me my ex, text, and said, Happy New Year, I should have wedged over and grabbed her, because she is my true love. Now, she keeps thinking, I've been cheating with this girl, going over there, having sex with her, whatever, and I have. Her house but the, the signs time. are there, and here's the sign. Okay. When you are involved with one woman and keep another woman secret, mm -hmm. when you hide that other woman, that's a big, oh, yeah, giant, looks like it, yeah. red flag. Uh -huh. You see how that's problematic, yeah. right? It looks like it, yeah. But I haven't been with nobody, i only been with her. And you aren't believing any of this? No, Ms. because, Richards. Your Honor, he, he has called me her name several times. Ooh. And <laughs> when his ne nephew was standing there, he said aunt and said her name. And I was like, wow. And, Your Honor, wait, the okay, reason wait, why wait. that was, because we was just discussing about my ex. And then I said it, came straight out and said aunt, mm, my ex's name. All right, oh. all right. Do you have anything else besides that he kept you hidden and he wished her Happy New Year's first? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The other thing is the neighbor. He was with her like four days before we were together, one time, and she's always coming over there and she's always, always on him or talking to him or slapping on his butt or it's always about him, him only. No, I'm not always trying to get us to fight, and then she'll say, are you guys okay? Are you guys breaking up? Or something like that. She, she's always in my face, and she knows too much about my business. 
And anytime he comes out on the porch, she'll be right out there. This is a woman he slept with while you all were apart. Four days before we got back together, Ooh. Your Honor. Okay. But you all were still apart. Yes, and that part, it's okay, but when you... But let me ask you, and be clear, you believe she's raising her head back up again. Oh, she is, Your Honor. Well, she's smacking him on the butt. Yeah, right in front of, <laughs> right, yeah. right in front that's, of his butt. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, on and, that and, look, 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 look. And I don't, I, I, don't, went... I don't think that was an NFL attaboy kind of smack on the butt. Well, it no, don't matter. No, it's it the neighbor. It's a neighbor woman. Our neighbors better not smack you on the behind. <laughs> Even if I make a good play? E a football play. Oh, yeah. No play whatsoever. No th play. There right. will be no butt smacking <laughs> involving you and a neighbor. All right. On my defense. Okay, yes, I, can't I, wait did, to hear I did. I did go to bed before we got back together with the neighbor. But every time she comes, I look like a rat. I'm running the other way. You go talk to her. So and you she, don't know why the neighbor keeps coming after don't you? Don't have no idea. Were, were you that good? I, I don't ask me. I don't know. You know, I'm a little bitty thing. You know, that's all <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know. You know, you slept with your wife's sister. You slept with a neighbor. I mean, you got this woman who's hitting you on the butt. I mean. And you got the oh. other woman, the, the ex. You forgot about the ex. That you are calling on New Year's. I mean, you see how this looked in the big picture, why Miss Richards would have some concern that, you know, something's going on. Looks like I'm guilty. Yeah, I know, but it ain't. When you bring out that polygraph reading, it's going to prove it. So you are absolutely 100% sure that yep. the results are going to show that you have not had sexual intercourse with anybody except your wife since you all got back together. Yeah. And Ms. Richards, you don't believe that? No, Your Honor. You don't look convinced at all about that. I don't. I'm not convinced at all. Is he always this convincing? Because he's... I mean, he's... He's, he's a talker. Yeah, he is. And that's what he does good at. That's how he cons his women into him. <laughs> okay. All right, so... And is that why they keep coming back? Yeah. After he tries to beat him off with a stick? She's like, yes. I mean, he has a good heart and he's passionate when he wants to be, when we're together, we make a great couple and we watch and we laugh about things, but I want it to go back to that. And it's not there. It's, Tell me about that. It's, all it is is about is he's always, it's never wants to talk to me. He always wants to go out. And when there's other younger or skinny women, he always makes conversation with them. He leaves me out of the conversation. Or if I'm talking to him, he over interrupts me and cuts right over me and makes me feel like I'm not nobody and the other person better than me. Let me ask you this. Your hope is that everything he's saying is true. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. But your heart and your gut are saying, I don't believe it. Yes, Your Honor, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping it goes the other way, that I'm wrong, because I really want to keep our relationship. And I see the tears in your eyes, and I believe you. <sighs> Mr. Richards? Yes, Your Honor. I hope you're doing more than talking game. I'm hoping you walk in the walk and not just talking the talk. You. Right. I'm telling the truth, Your Honor. And your woman's intuition is saying, mm -mm. Well, actions speak louder than words. You can say anything you want to say and say I love you all the time, but if your actions are different than that, it's right there, because its actions are totally different than that. <laughs> I mean, he flirts all the time. He ignores me in front of women. Um, he's always calling me names. Like, if I say something to him, he'll call me names and say that um, it's all in my head and I just, I'm getting tired of it. It's just a different sign and I know him like a book and I know it's happening. You're using your mind and letting it twist your mind up because I have to... You're trying to make me okay. think I'm crazy and I'm not. It, he's done this all the time and I just, I'm sick of it. I want to know the truth because he makes me feel like I'm crazy and I know I see what he's doing and he's always doing, you know, it's always something. But he's saying you're paranoid. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make me feel like I'm paranoid or I'm crazy. I'm not, Your Honor. All right. Well, to get to the bottom of this... Let's hear it. The court ordered Mr. Richards to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort our polygraph examiner, Mr. Michael Williams, into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Doing fine. How are you, ma'am? Good. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you, too, sir. You've seen a lot of cases like this. 
You've had people be exceedingly convincing in the courtroom, and then the polygraph tells us something else. Exactly. Well, you had Mr. Richards to undergo a polygraph examination. That's... Is that correct? That's correct. And Mr. Richards was asked, since getting back together with your wife, have you had sexual contact with anyone Ms. Richards does not know about? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. Yeah, go on, give us some love. <laughs> hey, bow down. I'm not bowing. <laughs> now, now. I'm just joking. I, okay, I actually see your dimples. <laughs> How do you feel? Great. All right. You were quacking like a duck, but you came through. You know, through. When, you, when you sound like a duck, walk like a duck, you must be a duck, but I ain't a duck. No, you are. You were walking I'm a man because I love this lady a lot. All right. Can I ask something in front of the judge right now? Can I ask you, can we take our vows over again? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. All right. All right. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah. You all, you've got a long history. You've got 30 years together. That's almost as long as we've been together. We've been together for 35 years. So I know what a long-term relationship looks like. I know the ups and downs that you go through in a long-term relationship. And we know the benefit of having that relationship. You have to make your marriage happy. The marriage is not going to make itself happy. You have to make it happy. You all can be happy together because you talked about it. And that's where you need to put your energies. Ms. Richards... You have got to let it go. And, I mean, it's a steep pass you got to get over. And I understand that. But he loves you. And you love him. And so, get... Give him your full forgiveness and stop looking backwards. And, right. Mr. Richards, be open and honest with your bride. She needs that so she can feel secure. You all are engaged. You met at a house party but now your house is in complete disarray because of allegations of cheating. Mr. Hall, tell me why you brought your case. Well, I have a lot of suspicions that she's been cheating on me for, I would think, for about a year. And if you find out she is cheating, what's gonna happen with your relationship? I think the best thing to do is to separate. So you're gonna be done? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Rosano, why are you here? First of all, let me just back this train on up just a little bit, All okay? Right. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> beep, beep, beep is right. Every day for the past entire year, I have been accused nonstop. You know the definition of insanity? It's literally asking the same question over and over and over again, expecting a different result. As soon as I hit the door at the house, it's, have you been alone? Have you used the bathroom at my mom's house? I can't use the bathroom by myself. You know, it's... So it's... you've been living like this for a year? A year. A year of being I think constantly... that's his own insanity right there. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, since you've been living that way, what are you here to prove today? That I am not cheating on him and that I love him. And you still love him in spite yes, of all this? despite everything. I love him to death. I would give my last breath for him. You know? I hear the pain that you've been going through in your voice. Tell him about that. I'm so sick of it. I can't deal with it anymore. I can't deal with constantly being accused of sleeping with everyone every day. I go to work for us. I come home for us. You know, I do dishes, I cook, I clean. I take care of the animals, I take care of you, I do your laundry, I do everything for you. And it hurts my heart that you constantly hurt me. Kyla, what we have here is complete turmoil. She is in her feelings and hurt because he's accusing her and he's saying, I don't want to do it, but I can't help myself. I got all these signs, and I can't help but ask you over and over and over again the same question. Yeah, I get that. Let me ask this. What was it like in the beginning when you two met? Ah, uh, man, it was great. You know, we met at a party. Uh, we hit it off, you know. I was looking at her from the, from the room away, like, dang, she's beautiful. And, uh, we were... Were you, were you scared to go over, or you just stepped right to her? I just stepped right to her. Oh, <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do it. I just uh, stepped right to her. And look at the but, smile to go with yeah. it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and we hit it off. A few months later, we moved in. 
with each other. And, and once you got to know her, what did you like about her? She's my angel, man. She made my life better. She, Man, I, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have my own house. I didn't have my own car. I didn't even have a license. I didn't even have a job. She literally made me do everything. I've got my own house now. I got my own car. She, I She's mean. She's made you a better man. Got my own job, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah hey. So, Ms. Yeah. Rosenau, you saw something across the hall, across the way. What did you see? His smile. The way he smiled, the way the lights twinkled in his eyes, you know, it's kind of like a little fairy tale at first, you know? It really was. I, I fell completely in love with him, completely, from the get-go. You know, I was three hours away doing a phone, phone relationship. So it was long a long-distance relationship. Yes. yes, it was. And uh, <laughs> he definitely, you know, I moved in. He definitely got me. <laughs> So, what was it like when he asked you to marry? Magical. Tell me about that. I was, I was begging him, you know, I like this ring. I want this ring. You know, just showing him pictures of rings, kind of throwing hints, like... So that, those are hints, <laughs> yeah. baby. That's, yeah. that's like a rock. Yeah. So that, boom, that boom. loud noise he was hearing was all those hints being dropped. <laughs> boom, boom. And like, yeah, yeah. And Mr. Hall, you I thought want. you'd found exactly what you were looking for. Oh, yes, sir. He... But now you believe your future wife is cheating on you. Yes, sir. Tell me why. We were, uh, we were sitting there, she was doing dishes and uh, cooking, and I was browning some meat. And her phone rings, and I pick it up, and I'm like, I'm like, hello, and there's some dude I've never heard before, never met, you know, and uh, he proceeds to tell me how he's doing all these things to my old lady and how, and... Uh, doing what kind of things to your old lady? Sexual <laughs> intercourse, you know. Your old lady is... is uh, Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, uh, I appreciate you being yeah. respectful. I do. Oral activity. Yes. Yes, okay. sir. And uh, I was, you know, I was shocked. You know, I didn't believe him. I called him on his, and uh, and until he started describing the inside of my house, oh. and like, cause I, I said, describing I don't believe you, you, dude. And he says, I know how your bathroom looks. He started describing my living room, my bathroom my uh, laundry room, uh, my front porch. When I was looking at her, like, how does, how does he have your number and how, how does he know all this? Well, who, this who was person... this calling and why is this person able to describe in great detail the, the inside of your house, let alone the sexual activity with you? Who is this person? This is actually uh, some dude that is mutual friends with Zachary. Well, his mama takes people in takes people in, like, takes care of them when they're homeless, when they don't have food, when they don't have anything. She takes care of them. That's the kind of woman she is. So she's brought these people in here that know exactly how this house is. So and you're saying that the people in question, that it wasn't because they were with you, sleeping with you. Yes. It's because they've been to the house because of him. Yes. Or because they know his mother. Yes. And Ms. Ross, you, know, you deny yes. that you had any kind of sexual activity? I have no idea. No idea. Mr. Hall, is there anybody in particular you believe that she's cheating with? I mean, I got messages from exes, like, hey, beautiful, how's your morning? Um, so where did you find these messages? On her phone. So they're talking badly about bad, you in the messages? Bad, bad, and, and this is her ex she's talking yes. to? Yes. So she is going to her ex, talking badly about her current boyfriend, which is you. Yeah, and we were just split up at the time. Okay. And you submitted to the court your recollection of what you saw. Hey, beautiful, how was your day? Why are you with him? You can do so much better. He's not good enough for you. Stuff like that. Yeah. When you saw this, what went through your mind? Ow. Miss Rosenau, why would you do that? I'm really getting fed up right now. This man has had lists of girls he has told he cares but more we're not and here more. About him. We're here about you. And my question to you is. Why, why were you contacting your ex and talking about your fiancé to him? That's the question. Especially because he talks to me like crap to my face, calls me a whore, calls me fat, calls me names constantly. All right, Mr. Hall, are you calling her fat? I've, no, I said that out of anger, and I've really... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I've never meant them horrible words. People say things they don't mean all the time. Well, okay, look. But I really didn't mean that. Mr. Hall, here's the thing. You cannot say things to your wife, to your future wife, to your girlfriend that you can't take back. When you say those kinds of things, they're hurtful.
Yes, now, sir. we've been together a long time, over 35, almost 36 years. And one of the rules that we have is we never call each other out of our names. I never called her a B word or any other kind of word. You see, I'm sitting here, right? Yes, sir. So, yeah, I never called her anything like that because I wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. But you cannot do that. You've got to treat her like the queen she is. If you want this woman to be your wife... So, Mr. Hall, do you have any other reasons why you believe your girlfriend is cheating on you? Yeah, I got a diagram I can show you. Okay. Okay, would you step to the uh, diagram, please? Yes, sir. All right, tell us what we're looking at. All right, here's my... This is a diagram of our old house. Okay. And, uh, you know, we were split up for about maybe a few days, and I wanted to come apologize and get back together and just say how much I'm sorry. I step on the porch, I hear movement, I look in the window, okay. Okay. I see the curtain, and it flings, you know what I'm saying? I see it fling. So I'm like, oh, hell no. So I kick the door in. And so just kick the door in. I kick the door in, I run in, and uh, I'm running this way. And boom, here she is right here, and here I am. And uh, she's like trying to, like, it looks like try to block me, but I'm not thinking about this room, you know? This room I'm not thinking about. So I shoot this way, you know, thinking of old boys in there. He's going to run through the back in all the woods. That's what I would do. I've done some stupid stuff to myself. <laughs> uh, but... So you run past her. Run past her to the back door over here, back porch. So I looked all back here, so I come back around to the front, and then I see this white little Toyota pull off on the side of the street. Now, was okay. it just pulling off like somebody was going to work or pulling off like somebody's getting out of there? Pulling off like somebody's getting out of there off the side of the street. Okay. 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 So it wasn't parked in front of your house, it was parked on the side street. Of course, yeah, I wouldn't park in front of my house either. <laughs> and this window right here that I think, oh, buddy, they were in here. She, oh, keep in mind, she didn't have, she, all she had on was panties. When, right. As I was coming in there. Correction, oh. panties and a t-shirt because there was only one AC. It was the middle of summer. You're kidding. Okay. But, uh... Did you ever see the guy in no, or on the house property? No, ma'am. I was going everywhere. And then, oh, Checking out so, so she's what standing she in say? her underwear. Yeah. All right, so what did she do when you kicked the door in? Because I know I would have been jumping like, what? Yeah. Let me... <laughs> I was fed up with it all. I had broken up with him. I paid for everything for this house. You know, this house was mine. So all of a sudden, I hear this bang, bang, you know? And I look out the bathroom, and here he comes running running down the hallway. So I body slam him against the hallway. <laughs> you, you, okay. You gotta check block him. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's going crazy. Like, why are you in my house? First of all, I just broke up with you. But, Anyways, so he starts screaming at me, saying that there's this dude in the back bedroom next to the bathroom, and I'm blocking the door, and he's running out the back porch, looking underneath the house, you know, in the woods. I mean, going to the extreme. So you're convinced that she was cheating? Yeah. And you're convinced that it was the guy in the Toyota? Yeah, white Toyota. Well, Ms. Ross, you know, I see you brought a witness with you. Yes, I have. Okay, ma'am, would you stand, please? All right, and for the court record, tell us your name, please. My name is Leanne Dingler, and I'm Zachary's mother. Okay. You're Mr. Hall's mother. Yes. You're Mr. Hall's mother, but you're here as a witness for Ms. Rosignol. Yes, sir. All right, that's unexpected. Good. Tell us what you know about this relationship. It's been a mess for a long time. Um, they've been at each other for a long time about this cheating thing. Is Jordan cheating? No, <laughs> she's not cheating. Uh, that was what, what she I was... She is thinking. always with either me, or another family member, or with Zach. Uh, she, she doesn't have an opportunity to cheat. Uh, and I've tried to get him to think about it sensibly. You know, if you just think about it sensibly, there's no room to cheat. But, I mean, he, he's got to know. He's got to know that, you know, so, even though you're my son... You've got to get your stuff together. You've got a good girl, and she's not going to be here forever if you keep doing this to her. All right, thank you, Ms. Dingo. You can thank you so much. Seat, yes, Your Honor. Well, I think we have enough testimony, love. All right, what we got? Talk well, to me. Okay, Mr. Hall claims he received uh -huh. a phone call from an unknown man claiming that Ms. Rosignol is, in fact, having sex with other guys. Mm -hmm. He found text messages between her and her ex downplaying him. And then Mr. Hall claims he caught her. He caught Ms. Rosignol helping her lover get out of the house. And she denies all of that. She denies all of it. So Mr. Hall said if he finds out that she's cheating, then the relationship is gonna be over. That's right. right. Well, this court has done a full and complete investigation. 
At this time, the court will call a licensed polygraph examiner and former special agent to the FBI, Kendall Scholl, to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> now, please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom. Kendall Scholl. We're going to go over to the witness stand. How are you, sir? Great, Your Honor. How are you? We're good. It's good to see you, good sir. Good to see you, sir. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Rosignol, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Rosignol, on the day Mr. Hall found you at home in your underwear, did you have physical sexual contact with another person? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being... The lie detector determined that she was being... Truthful, Your Honor. All right. You asked Ms. Rosignol, since you moved in with Mr. Hall, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Mr. Hall? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. I see the tears in your eyes. What do those represent? Sorry. It's okay. I just don't want to hear no more accusations, no more nothing. You won't. I went to this extreme. I don't want to hear it no more. Mr. Cutler? Yes? You know, we got kids their age. Yes? I want you to talk to him like you would talk to one of ours about this behavior. You all are just starting out in your relationship. This should be the best time of your lives. Mm. This is not a time for false accusations or you're being insecure about her cheating. This is a time where you need to cherish her and make her feel like she wants to spend the rest of her life with you and you want to spend the rest of your life with her. And Ms. Rosignol, it sounds like you have been trying to do the things that you should do to make this relationship work. I, I have. <laughs> But there's a couple things that we I heard... need to work on. I need, you need to, work to work on. on. Yes, I, I completely understand. You all are living together. You've been together for seven years. And, Mr. Jones, you brought this case because you want answers to three specific incidents that lead you to believe that Ms. Thomas is cheating. Yes, Your Honor. And you have these concerns because you all have history. Yes, we got, like, we took a test... For my, I thought that was my child, but turns out to be not my child. So that's, oh. that make her a liar, right? Am I wrong for calling her a liar? But if you forgave what, me, though. I, I forgave you because I love you. You forgave me, we moved on, so why bring it up still? I love you, yeah, so, but that's still in the back of my mind. Like, yeah, but you're not gonna hold this over my head for the rest of my life. Yeah, move that's, why, that's why I'm here, you know, to find out. That's why I'm here. So you need to know, because you have this history, you have concerns, and you want to make sure that it's not going on now. Yes, yes. And you I got a feeling it's just... Something going on. But I'm here to right my wrongs, though, so why yeah. we gonna That's move That's why we're here, yeah. Ms. Thomas, you want answers to these questions as well. You want to show him... Yes, I want to prove to him that I'm not cheating, I want to move mm -hmm. on, be in a healthy relationship, hopefully later lead to marriage. I was gonna ask you, what signals have you picked up on that make you wonder what is going on here? Every time a phone rings, she go to the bathroom. She can't have no conversation right beside me. She can't. That's the second true. thing, she don't cook no more. I don't get no home-cooked meal, no That's chicken. That's not true, because you no don't appreciate fries, me. No me. Nothing, you don't appreciate no me no being more. your woman. When I, when I feel appreciated, then maybe I'll cook up a stove, some dressing, get, maybe I, some ham, but until then, no. Now, that takes care of the food. Let's wait, wait, hold on. Oh. I got a question. You got a question? Mr. Joe, do you cook? I, I mean, no. noodles, yeah. No, I, noodles? I, I That's her job. Nothing. I feel that's her job. No, I mean. no, wait. Oh, right. But I work. Right. I work. Right. Right. I don't have time to cook oh, like that. She no, get off before no, me. No, no, wait a minute. Hold on, Miss Thomas. Miss Thomas, I gotta address this. Yes. What is that address? Over half of women everywhere. Yeah. Oh. You, yeah. no, no, I don't want you to talk yes, right now, Mr. Cutler. I, 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 <laughs> I want you to stand down. I understand why you're confused. <laughs> no. I understand why you're confused. What he meant to say was... No, no. They no. had an arrangement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What he meant to say was they had an arrangement yeah, where they yeah, agreed yeah, that she yeah, would do yeah. the cooking. No, that's what he no, meant. No, no. That's what he meant. It's not like it's okay. her job because she the woman. No, <laughs> yeah. they had an arrangement where she was doing the cooking. Cutler, 
What? <laughs> I'm gonna help him and you. <laughs> And so here's the deal. I don't need no help. You do need some help. <laughs> it's all what you about to be down there with this. Uh, <laughs> cooking is whoever can get the jobs done. Or now, what you a- agree to. No. Yes. And, no. And, and my mama and my mama said, so it must be true. <laughs> the sexiest thing in the world is a man in the kitchen. So you need yes, to get your eight. Yes. Yes. Figure it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you went from this whole thing of these are the signs of her cheating. What has moved you from their signs to actual cheating? Like, it's like one, one incident, Snapchat, you know? Okay. Snapchat, okay, we, um, she wanted to go out with her girls, you know? She said she had a girl night to go eat at a restaurant, you know, okay? I'm Ooh, trying hunger. to trust you, we're trying to build that back up. You know, okay, really, I'm cool with it. cooking at home, so, so you gotta go out and do something. <laughs> right. So, so I go to my fam- one of my family members' house, probably to get some food, cause there's nothing at home. Yeah, to that, eat. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get that. <laughs> I expect the something back. You know, right. some a little little piece of chicken or something. But so what happened? Yeah. So, okay. so, so she, she, I'm in my, I'm in my family member's house. He's stroll, he's strolling through Snapchat. He's strolling, strolling through the stores, the stores. He get to her store, you know, they friends on Snapchat. He was like, you went out to, you went out to eat. When you go out to eat, you here. I'm like, huh? That I, this dude look like you. I'm like, I looked at it. I'm confused with myself. Like, she's cheesing. Like, uh, ain't no girls there. The place so, look empty. How you at a table with another man who looks like... Right. We Do you like table? Table? Hold Hold on. On. I went on a table with another man. We were at with coworkers from work, and my friend happened to bring her guy because she doesn't like him to stay at home. So he came I with us. He's one of us. Me? All right, but com- you're saying you're looking at this picture, and it's just her and a man. Yeah. There are no other people. I know I ain't blind. <laughs> if I want the cheat, we wouldn't be together. I try to right my wrongs from the DNA test, you know, but I'm not gonna keep getting this, letting this. Hope. He, he's not for the keep holding stuff lying. Lying. All right, so I'm we have not. the first incident you have a question about. What's the second incident? Facebook. All right, tell Facebook. me about Facebook. So, okay, boom, Your Honor. We, <laughs> <laughs> listen, we, we went out one night. This time we did go out, you All know? All right, you were there. At a, at a friend party he threw, he th- invited us out. So we went out, had a good time, no arguing, no nothing, like old time. So we get in the car to leave, you know, everything good, make it to the house around about two or three in the morning. Okay. You know, get in, she tired, you know, tired. So she went straight to sleep snoring. You know, so I know, in my head, I know she through for the night. If I see an opportunity, I seen my opportunity. I seen her phone, I seen her thumb, but you know, can I show? Can I show y'all? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Step to the monitor. Okay. I grabbed. A, I grabbed a thumb. I placed the thumb right here. But why are you Bam. grabbing the phone? So it opens the phone. That's what you it's get. Like, it opened the phone. So I stroll. I clicked on the message. Bam. What do I see? A guy clicked on it. Bam. Look what. I, look. A penis pic. I know it ain't mine, because I'm much bigger. To be honest, I'm but much bigger than that. But you what happened with the penis pick okay. anyway. OK, wait a minute. But wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on, Ms. Thomas. Hold on, Ms. Thomas. You what know, time you, of morning is this? This is like 2 or 3 in the morning. 2 All or right. 3, 4 in the morning. Step okay. back to your podium, please. Yeah, it's like... So why do you have a conversation that ends with a pic of a man's penis? Well, Your Honor, it happened days before the picture was even sent. It was a viral video picture thing going around our hometown of a guy and a girl being exposed. So I asked people to send it to me. Everybody would send it. Boom, the guy sends the picture. So you're saying, let me make sure I got this right, Ms. Thomas, that there was a scandal in your hometown. Right. Scandal. Just pictures going around. Well, she said it was a thing. <laughs> right. It was a viral thing going around. Like, okay. The man. In I mean, my the man world, in my Ooh. old world, they say viral. In my old world, we say scandal. But okay, okay. viral. Let's say viral. Mm. The question I have is, the gentleman who sent you this picture, have you been with him in an intimate way? No, not at all. I just he... know him from social media. I was just curious to want to see the video. And so he's not your side piece. No, and not at all. We have no dealings on none of that. I just happened to ask mm-hmm. them, can I get the pictures and the videos, and boom, there it goes. You just want to see the piece. <laughs> right. All right, all right. I want to see the piece. I said that. All right. <laughs> There's a third incident. Yeah, she kicked me out. Okay, she kicked me out. 
So, but we still talking and intimate, having sex. When it got to the end of month, she wanted me to come back. Okay. So, I know I love her. I'm coming back home. So, I get there with my bags. Okay. Came out the bathroom, went to put my stuff up in the closet. I found basketball shorts. Which were mine? These, these Which don't look mine? like. These cannot. These I don't. When Which you start who, When you start Which shooting ball. Mine? When you start shooting. I shoot, can fit them. They fit me to the T. When you start shooting ball, they don't they fit, fit me. They fit me. You're scrawny and little. Okay. I mean, so, so you shoot ball now. So, Mr. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Miss Thomas. Okay, hold those up, Mr. Jones. My okay, side. Hold, she ain't never Thomas, worried basketball shorts. Never. My side. Never. Mr. Jones, before you moved out, did she ever wear basketball no, shorts? No, no. You never seen those shorts before? I ain't seen her shoot a basketball okay. with basketball yeah. shorts on. Or even wear the shorts. Maybe she wears them around the house. No. Uh, yes. No. You don't even wear short, girl shorts. She don't yes. wear none of that. He so she ain't a shorts type person. I know her. We, Do you think you she kicked you out for that month so yeah. she can have somebody yeah. else That's come? what I really think. No. That's what I, I really think. I kicked him out because I want to be appreci appreciated. I want him to... Stop holding this over my head, what I've done in the past. What more do you want? My legs, my heart, thing. my wig off my head. I mean, what more can I give you? I mean, I don't have nothing yeah. else to give you but and to give. let you know that I love you and I... I... All right, Mr. Cutler, I think we know why he thinks that Miss Thomas is back to her old cheating ways. Yeah. And you know, he has said, if that's true, you're done. I'm done. You're gonna put your own I'm self done. out. I'm, I'm back. I'm back gone. Because of all these suspicions, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call cybersecurity expert Gus Dimitrellis to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I'm a certified cyber expert and retired Secret Service agent serving under two presidential administrations in the area of technical security and electronic crimes. Ms. Thomas, you okay? You look a little nervous. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Sweet. I'm okay. Sweet. I, I heard that big sigh. I was like... I'm okay. I'm just breathing, sir. Okay. All right. You would think the sun in here. How she's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a complete forensic examination on Ms. Thomas's phone to uncover pictures, videos, social media, internet history, even if it's deleted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Specifically, I was asked to find any evidence by this court of cheating. All right. Did you find anything suspicious? I did. Uh, the court summoned Ms. Thomas to provide her cloud access information, her username and password, which she did. Both were fake. So what she provided was fake? Yes, Your Honor, I have a copy right here. Wow, she can't even own up to her lies. Wow. So you it's used over. a username and the password that she gave you and they both came up as invalid? That is correct, Your Honor. It's over. Ms. Thomas, why did you give him a fake username and a fake password? I gave him what I had. I mean, I don't have, I have only one email. Really? Yes, ma'am. See? She came This came up as invalid, two. which means it wasn't <laughs> the one you used to get into the phone. So, what are you hiding? I have nothing to hide, sir. Obviously, nothing at all. Come on. Were you ever yeah. able to get into her cloud? Your Honor, when you resummoned her to provide her correct cloud credentials, username and password, she did. Okay. And in doing so, I recovered 1,300 photos. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, of which wee. one was Ooh. a selfie of a man who is not Mr. Jones. This was sent to Ms. Thomas's phone? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Ron, would you show this to uh, Ms. Thomas, please? Wow. <laughs> Ms. Thomas, who is that person? Oh, that's a friend from Facebook. But we had, not, we had no dealings. Well, you well, had some dealings, dealings because yeah. he sent you a, a selfie picture. I actually did ask for a bitch. He sent the picture. That's crazy. It... All right, thank you, Mr. Dimitrellis. Thank you, Your Honor. To further investigate this case, this court also ordered that a polygraph examination be conducted on Ms. Thomas, and we have those results. 
Ron, at this time, would you bring out certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams? Yes, Sean. Mr. Jones, I do have to ask you, because, I mean, everything kind of hinges on this. If you find out she's cheating, what will happen? I don't want to go through that again. I already been through something with her. I'm already still hurt about that, but I, you know, I'm not finna, I ain't finna stay. Ain't no way. I don't care. Oh, let's so, get to those results, then. Are you ready for the results? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to know. You want right. to know? I want to okay. know. All right. Mr. Williams, how are you today? Doing great. How are you, Your Honor? It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner from the state of Georgia and a private detective. And you conducted a polygraph examination on Ms. Thomas, is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Thomas, have you had sexual intercourse with a man Mr. Jones saw you at the restaurant with on your Snapchat story? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Exactly. 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 All right. Well, it kind of made me smile. <laughs> yeah, I was. I saw you. <laughs> but we have one more question. Yeah. You asked Miss Thomas, since you kicked Mr. Jones out of the house, have you had sexual intercourse with another man? What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined on this particular question, she was being truthful. Exactly. Yay! Exactly. All right, Mr. Jones. What does that smile represent? I mean, at least you're honest about... She, at least I know the truth now, the things I've been wanting to know, you know. And I love her, you know. And now she's being truthful, and I know the truth. I feel we can work out, work things out, as long as we being truthful, not have to do all this, you know. Go home and fix that man some dinner. Yes. yes. He's hungry. <laughs> can I get a He's hug? Hungry. Absolutely. I'm sorry.